Hello everyone, welcome back today. As you can see, I was gonna give up on the pumpkin. I did two of them. I did one with sprinkles, which was cute. It was fine. Um, I did have to fix it in the end. And then the second one I did with flowers, which ended up bleeding into the resin, which, you know, if the lid matched the pumpkin, I would have been okay with it, but then the lid didn't match. So I was like, do I give up? Or should I just move on? Or should I do another pumpkin? And every single comment except one said to do another pumpkin. And right when I was gonna give up, a good friend of mine, Jan, had decided that she wanted a pumpkin made for her. And she just wanted an orange pumpkin with glitter. And she wanted the green chameleon powder um, stem on it. So I'm like, okay, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna keep it simple and it'll probably be beautiful. I am always trying to complicate things and I don't know why I do that. So I'm gonna do a simple orange transparent pumpkin with an intense green chameleon powder stem and I'm adding my favorite crushed crystal into it so it will float everywhere. It won't sink like my sprinkles did and Let's get on with it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take my little intense green and I'm going to stick it in the stem. And then I will clean up around it, which is very simple to do with alcohol. Everything is linked below if you want quick access to all these things. Definitely check out the links in the description box and you will find everything that I'm using in there so this is just a cute little stem and it does come out I love these intense powders these intense ones you can fill with black white clear it doesn't matter what color you fill it with they're coming out the same color most of these chameleon powders are different depending on what you back them with I've done several videos on that to show you the differences a lot of you didn't even know that so I was glad to hear all the comments on those that um, you were not aware that they would be that different. So definitely go back and look at that. I will try to remember to link it at the end of this video for you if you want to see how different they can be. So I'm just going to clean up right around there. And this pumpkin holds about 10 ounces. So I'm going to mix up 10 ounces and um, get, I'll be right back. I've got the resin mixed up and I added 12 drops of my Let's Resin Orange to it, which it is very transparent, but because this is a deeper mold, it looks darker than it is, but it'll probably look this dark in the mold actually, because it is so deep. I do want to add the glitter. So this is like the simplest thing. And I know simple is, simple is sometimes better and it'll be really cute. I'm just going to add a touch of my glitter. And that's going to make it absolutely gorgeous. The best thing about this glitter is it doesn't sink. That's why I, I mean, I don't know that I do like the color and the sparkle, but I think my favorite part of it is it doesn't sink. And these people aren't even paying me. Like I get nothing from these people. The amount of people that I've sent to this company is probably unbelievable. And they don't even know that. They're probably wondering why the heck are we selling all this glitter? <laughs> but you know, out of the goodness of my heart, I am giving them a plug. All right, that looks good. So now all I have to do is pour it. And me. Once it gets stiff enough, I'll probably throw it into the curing machine. I'm not gonna do it right away because I am using the machine for something else right now, but later on I'll probably throw it in there. I don't like to do it right off the bat because I don't want anything to happen to it. I've had some trouble in the past if I, especially with deep pour then it's really, really watery and I stick it in there, sometimes it didn't work out, but this resin is pretty, this pump stuff, man, it's great. You can pour up to an inch deep and I poured more than an inch and still had no flash cure. 
So I'm just pouring it slowly and from up high. And even if there are bubbles, which you probably wouldn't see anyway because of the glitter, but that little thin, thin stream should pop them on their way down. So that's why it's taking me so long to pour this. And then we will come back and demold. Time to unmold, it's nice and cured. This is nice and domed. I don't think there's gonna be any trim on this. So let's hope less is more and I have a successful pumpkin without trying to fix it. Oh, that's good, that looks good. Can you see the sparkle in there? And it's transparent. I don't see any bubbles. This is a pretty good mold. It does not, third time has still hasn't given me any bubbles. So let's see how this one looks. I don't know. I think it's gonna be hard to get off. Sorry, you're gonna be out of camera for a moment. I hope it doesn't rip. I have ripped some before. I kinda, I think Don took this out for me last time. That's why I don't remember doing it. There we go. I'm just gonna turn my mold back around first. I don't know, I might try one more try with this thing before the season's over, we'll see. All right. Well, it worked. The sparkle is everywhere. There are bubbles in it, but you can barely tell the difference between the bubbles and the sparkles. Let's see how it fits together. Looks good. I hope you like it, Jan. Here it is for you. Easy peasy. I'm going to trim the bottom. It is sharp, so I'm going to use my little knife to trim off the bottom and then sand it down just a little bit because you don't want anybody to cut their hands. I have done it before and it's no fun. So just get your little X-Acto knife out or your, your other uh, little tool. Can't remember the name of it now. Deburring tool, that's right. And just get those edges off. Give it a little sand on the edge just the edge, you don't want the bottom to get sanded. And you can put like, um, well this one's see-through, so I don't think I wanna put a cork piece on the bottom because you will see through it. So I'm just going to kinda sand just the edge, and then this one will be done. So thanks guys for coming to check out one more pumpkin from me. Who knows, maybe you'll see one more. I'm not sure. I have a few ideas in my head that I think will work. So anyway, I hope you guys have a blessed rest of your day. And I will see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.